637 now a highway eyesore that's been looming over the Golden Glades interchange for years now has an obscene addition. Hundreds of thousands of drivers are now getting this crude greeting every day. CBS 4's David Sutta spoke with the mayor of Miami Gardens about what he wishes they could do with the property. Under the cover of darkness, you may miss it, but during your morning or afternoon commute, you can't. The graffiti on the abandoned Parkway West Hospital. That's crazy, man. The graphic sexual sign or mushroom, depending on how you look at it, is a billboard welcoming you into Miami Gardens and the Hard Rock Stadium. Some 400,000 cars use the Golden Gate Interchange, many of them rolling by this every day. This should have been knocked down a long time ago. I don't know why it's still up. You know, if it ain't no whoever owns it, they just knock it down. They sell the property. Parkway West closed more than 15 years ago. It's changed hands a few times. The current owners have been in foreclosure for years and then bankruptcy. Miami Gardens Mayor Oliver Gilbert says he's quite familiar with the building. Over the years, we've had racial epithets removed from the wall. We've had swastikas removed from the wall. We've had, you know, all manner of derogatory uh, statements and, and, and graphics removed from the wall. And so this, this would just be something else. Mayor Oliver says the city will be in touch with the owners to get rid of this latest installation. They've been pretty good in the past about getting up there, even the highest points of the building and removing stuff. But ultimately, Oliver wishes he could do more. Current owners have aspirations to turn the property into a hotel instead of an X-rated building. Board. What we try to do and what we're trying to do is actually redevelop the property, work with the owners who have some struggles now to redevelop it because the best remedy to blight is actually redevelopment. To add to the pressure in all this, there is a brand new Top Golf that has been built across from the abandoned property. It's already a tremendous success, but yet it stands next to this building and its billboards. In Miami Gardens, David Sutter, CBS 4 News this morning.